Amy baca Olert, president of the Colorado Education Association. Hi, everyone. I'm Kevin Vick, your CEA vice president. Hi, I'm Amber Wilson, secretary treasurer of the Colorado Education Association. Hi, I'm Kathy Rendon, executive director of the Colorado Education Association. As we enter into the holiday season, I want to express my gratitude for each and every one of you, the over 39,000 educators of the Colorado Education Association who do the critical job of educating Colorado students every day. This year has been a challenging year. And as always, educators are showing their commitment and dedication to students. But it is not enough to say thank you what we need is for people to show their gratitude and their thanks to educators by funding our public schools, by providing the resources and supports that we need to educate students each and every day. My hope for you as we move into this holiday season is that you find some time to rest during the winter break because that is so very needed, but that you also find that time to get re-energized, to stand up for students and public education. We have been fighting a long fight for the schools that our students deserve, and we will continue to carry on in that fight and stand shoulder to shoulder until every child and every educator in Colorado has the schools that they deserve. Thank you for all that you do. I wish you the happiest of holiday seasons, and I look forward to January when we continue to fight for students and public education. Take care and be well. Happy holidays, everyone. You know, this time of year is usually a, a great time for reflection and celebration. And, and um, this year, um, I think the reflection is gonna be that this has been the most incredible uh, challenging time of, of certainly uh, my lifetime and, and will probably go down as one of the greatest challenging lifetimes or events ever. And so um, that being said, I am constantly amazed and in awe of all of the extra and, and going above and beyond that people are doing to try and make sure that kids are safe, healthy, and are in fact learning. And um, we know that you have put yourself at great risk in order to make this happen. And we at CEA are trying to make sure that the people who are making decisions are uh, keeping your uh, safety and health in mind as they are as they are making these decisions. And so. Um, we wish you the best of holiday times and we want to make sure that you're safe and healthy and uh, getting a much needed rest as we head into the holiday season. I wanted to take a moment to express my gratitude to all the CEA members and staff who have really helped our students get through this very difficult time. Without our work together, our students would be in a much worse place. We have been there for them, we've been there for each other, and I am grateful to each and every one of you. I want to also take a moment to remind us that right now the winter holidays are a time of hope and light. Um, we light up the night with our Christmas lights, with our Hanukkah candles, with our Kwanzaa candles. All of these are to remind us that there is a light coming, that even though it is dark now, there is hope for the future and light will return. So that's my wish for all of you is hope and light in the coming year. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful for our educators who continue to show up day after day to support our students in the most difficult conditions imaginable. And I'd like to send some gratitude to our staff who have been working tirelessly to support our members to navigate this current reality and to collectively fight for safe and just working and learning conditions. My wish for the new year is for peace, unity, and some relief from the challenges that we are all currently experiencing. I hope you all will take some much needed time to rest and rejuvenate. Happy holidays. And happy new year. From CEA.